All right, next thing I wanted to show you is um, experiments that I have discovered with this game. So besides the regular models, you can do a couple of very strange things uh, with how models express themselves. So again, we're gonna do uh, model changer, auto apply flavors off. And then we're gonna switch to a regular human NPC. So you don't wanna be animals uh, that always crashes. You can spawn them in, however. Um, so let's try being something that would produce something kind of interesting. How about let's be a Mongol brute. Yeah, so there's quite a few uh, model features that show up for this. Some of them will crash though. So um, I'm going to add a few flavors. Yeah, that will kind of uh, improve how it looks a little bit. Again, these weapons, unfortunately, do not uh, work. <laughs> they don't function the same way. But now, uh, here are some other things to note. So if you want to uh, do a little bit of experimenting, you need to be careful about um, entering the menu. I can sometimes crash the game if you have models on. Uh, and sometimes, as I will demonstrate, changing armors can also crash it. So if you're wearing a model and then you were to change to a different one of these, you can have very strange things happen. But sometimes if it doesn't crash for you, you can make something that looks really cool. So just for an experiment, let's start from the top and start putting these armors on rather than uh, the broken armor. Okay, there's no change or effect here, although you can see it's kind of clipping a little bit extra, but uh, that's kind of to be expected sometimes uh, when you go into the menu. Let's switch to the next one, Hero of Tsush uh, Tsushima Armor. Let's see what happens. Yep, so nothing in particular. Although it does seem like the blade is disappeared now, so... Sometimes you get unwanted things. Now, say we change to next one, Tadiori's armor. Okay, now we start manifesting some rather bizarre looks. So it looks like his belt has disappeared, and his helmet has become something that's not actually in the game. That's like a totally different armor. Plus, his, uh, his arms are gone, so maybe there's a way for us to put his arms back. But it doesn't necessarily work, so... <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of funky things that you can make. Let's try some more. Let's try Ronin attire. So that makes his uh, funky hat disappear, but it looks like his uh, boots are gone now. So we have this uh, kind of hobbit-looking uh, mongol now. No feet. Which is kind of interesting because we don't normally see Mongols without boots on, so yeah. it's just kind of interesting to know that uh, even the feet underneath the boots of all Mongols has been uh, created by uh, the Ghost of Tsushima gang, so the developers. Let's keep going. Gosaku's armor, see if anything happens. Nothing in particular. The only thing that changed was my sword kit because I was wearing something different there. But we also have uh, Sakai clan armor. No discernible difference. Kensei armor. No change. Ghost armor. No change once again. Mongol commander's armor. He looks just as glitchy as he did before. <laughs> Fundoshi. Yep, no different. Although his arms seem to be rendered properly at this point. Archery Master. And lastly, Sarugami. Now, if we were to create what this looks like um, on the other side where I'm already maybe on this menu and then I add the Mongol Brute, 
outfit might not necessarily uh, look the same. Might even crash too. So, yep. So that that causes a crash there. <laughs> yep. So that's why you want to be careful about spawning in uh, models that are not the broken armor to begin with. So you can kind of get away with some experimenting as long as you started with the broken armor. But other things happening um, is not always ideal if you have a different armor on underneath. I do want to show a couple examples of secrets that I found, though. Um, not necessarily with uh, the Mongol Brute, but with some other armies. So uh, I am going to look for the Golden General Armor, which should be around here. So this should produce the Golden General. Piece by piece, you add them in, and you get everything. You even get uh, some glitches with um, combat, too, if you add all the flavors. As you can see, his arms are there. If you put on every single flavor for a golden general, you'll actually notice that they don't uh, perfect parry or perfect dodge anymore. They kind of lose some of Jin's abilities. But actually... Uh, it's a quite decent looking uh, model, I think. Yeah, so that puts the <clears throat> models directly below uh, Mongol itself. So it just disappears. But then you can run around and you look relatively normal except for the katana and the tanto, which eventually they both show up uh, underneath the Mar model. <laughs> A couple of Mongol outfits and a couple of other key NPC characters will change quite a bit if you change what armor you're wearing underneath. So instead of having the broken armor, if you switch to something a little bit different, you end up some pretty crazy stuff. So the ones that are the craziest that I know of are Hero Tsushima armor and Tadayori's armor. Uh, so we'll see if those actually render properly to create what I'm talking about. Oh dear, now that's something a little bit creepy. Looks like it's a... Uh, it's an Oni that's uh, missing its arm. Still has its... Uh, one arm. Has its legs, but it's missing its uh, boots. So yeah, we created something a little bit strange here. <laughs> Let's start over with uh, spawning in this character. Adding each flavor at a time. Okay, we create full armor. But it happens to have Legends assets, such as uh, all the different masks that the Oni wear. Makes for pretty cool uh, role playing. There are a couple other models that do this as well. And this is specifically if you wear the Tadayori armor. So let's show a couple other examples. Say we try to become a monk. Okay, here's an example of what some glitchy stuff that happens when you uh, put the Tadayori armor underneath a monk outfit. So this is supposed to be just a completely normal monk thing, but it looks like it's manifesting uh, some of those masks that the peasants wear um, in the legends. But it looks like we also have a couple of outfits all at once. So we have Enjos, and then we have like a red monk underneath, but none of this is normal. I believe that model is the one that's supposed to be normal, is uh, wearing a red robe. Okay, I'd like to show you a couple other Legends assets that are available with a little bit of experimenting. So let's go to 
uh, more common NPC asset. Uh, let's go to Yuna, who's actually used as the hunter in Legends. So we'll just leave her as is here without adding any other flavors. Uh, we'll do that afterwards. But what we can do is put on different armors here. So the one that I know works best is usually Tadayori, but we could try some other, see if other Legends assets appear. So it appears that she has a mask on her face. Looks like the ghost mask and a uh, humorous helmet. So it's some sort of remnants from Legends right there. Let's try a different armor underneath here. Let's try Kira of Tsushima. Okay. Well, that's where the other thing came from. This armor happens to have, uh, this model happens to have all that stuff. It's clearly something left over from Legends. Now we have a couple of other characters that are a little bit like that too, so that's why I also wanted to demonstrate. We have uh, Sensei Ishikawa. He ends up having a helmet, which is pretty cool. His very own hat. But he can definitely have more than this, so... Let's change to Tariori's armor. It's pretty clear here that he has turned into uh, Uchitsune from Legends. So this is where his uh, model comes from. So if you're interested in uh, becoming Uchitsune in Ghost of Tsushima, you can definitely do that and have uh, the proper helmet and everything. His arms aren't quite there, but uh, he should be playable for the most part. <laughs> 